Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and in this video we will be discussing with you about how we can customize our PTC Crew model template. So uh, let's get started. We can customize our units and template as per our company need or as per my need or as per your need. So how we are going to do this? File, then prepare, model properties. And now here you can create your own unit system. Let's click new and then define. For example, I want to work in centimeter. So I will be giving the unit name at CMG. and time in hours you can write any name it's not like i need to write or it is just to remember so i will be just keeping this name and we can click ok so in this way we can create our own union system and we can define it as the default template Now in order to define it as a default template, what we require is we need to specify this particular model as my default template. In fact, our all templates are itself a model. So now I want to add further more customization like my company name here. So I will be going to annotate tab and here at note and attach note. Now I want to make the, the text flat to screen. So I will be selecting this option flat to screen and here. So I, I want to write like X, Y, Z corporation. and let's just make it bold and smaller you can even add further more settings like the density of your model the weight of your model here and you can also add several other parameter like the model name or the mass or your own customized parameter for example i want to add model name here so model name we will learn about how to customize and create our own parameter and how to add system parameter later on so for this video, we will not talk about parameter that much. Now let's say I want to add three axes with this template. So axis, just select the axis and pick it. Most of the time, my part is made up of milesteel. So I want my template to have a default material as milesteel. So I also can add material to it. So in order to add material, file, prepare, model properties and then from here I can assign material as low carbon steel. Now our all customization got completed. Our next step is to save this model. So I will be saving this model to different location. For example, here as Creo template.
Now let's just change our template name from PRT0001 to some kind of relevant one like like template now let's just define now click here browse template open now click on erase non displayed now click on new part and now we will see what happened when we try to open it as a default. Our template retain all the customization that we have done. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that I was able to explain you how to customize our default template. If yes, then please subscribe to my channel so that you can watch other relevant videos. If no, then please make a comment and I will try to reply you as soon as possible. And also it would be great if you can support me at Patreon and help me to grow this channel. And obviously you will receive extra benefit of supporting me at Patreon. In my next video, we will be starting from our Sketcher module and I will see you soon. Till then take care and bye bye.